On the 19th of September 1953, in the town of New Clare, Johannesburg, an activist was born, Yasmin Jessie Duarte. One of nine siblings, she would complete her schooling and then go on to study management accounting. Owing to her stance and ideas, she was enlisted to establish women formations around the country by Albertina Sisulu. She rose up the ranks and by the onset of 1981, she was with the Federation of Transportation Transvaal Women, serving as the Provincial Secretary. Working with Reverend Bayez Nodia, they set up a scholarship fund to educate and skill ANC and UDF activists to deploy a progressive core of public servants who could serve this country effectively. In 1988, she was detained without trial and then placed under restriction orders until the end of the state of emergency. The ANC Interim Leadership Corps granted her her membership in 1990 and then elected her to the Gauteng Provincial Executive Council. Up until 1994, she served as the MEC for Safety and Security and worked very closely with President Nelson Mandela and Walter Sisulu from 1991 to 1994. Whilst there was ongoing negotiations to a democracy, Duarte served as a member of the Regional Executive Committee of the ANC. Later on, between 1999 and 2003, she served as South African Ambassador to Mozambique. After 2003, she was appointed as the National Speaker for the ANC and then serving as Chief Operations Officer in the Presidency before resigning in April 2010. After this period, Duarte was elected as Deputy Secretary General of the ANC in 2012. Her announcement to retire as Deputy Secretary General was to be realized in 2022. Family members have announced that she was battling cancer and had succumbed to her illness on the 17th of July 2022. She will always be known as a true activist and a real servant of this country. To Allah we belong and to him is our return.